at La Scuola International School in San Francisco, the grade seven and eight humanities research group has been writing and recording personal experiences of quarantine in response to the 2020 global pandemic of the novel coronavirus. What follows is an audio montage of their reporting from their domestic isolation. The fifth week of lockdown has easily been the hardest. The high of having so much free time has worn off quickly. Some days go by where you just think, what's the point of doing anything? You leave your schoolwork and collapse on your bed. You find yourself missing the sight or touch or hug of people other than your family. And it doesn't seem to matter that you're able to text or FaceTime them because it just isn't the same. I've started to really get used to the lockdown and it feels almost normal now. I'm disappointed I didn't get to say a proper goodbye to everyone, but I hope we can do some sort of graduation ceremony where we can all see each other before the end of summer. One thing my family has started doing is going to an empty parking lot and letting me drive. Another thing we've been doing is sitting six feet apart from my neighbors in my driveway just to see other people in person. I think the major things keeping me sane through all of this are my pets. I'm getting tired of so-called family time and I really want to hang out with other people. This quarantine has made me think about scary memories that we've had as a family and things we've dealt with. But for some reason, all of them are memories of my family members medically. I was thinking about when my grandmother fell nine years ago, or when my dad found out he had cancer in his eye just a couple of years ago, or when my sister had really bad appendicitis last summer. I guess just watching the news with lots of footage from hospitals have me thinking about these things. I'm seeing a lot of people on social media going crazy because they are spending so much time with their family. It's a different case with my family. Usually, the only time that I spend with my family during the year is the summer. But now, I'm stuck with my family inside. Since the beginning of quarantine, my dad and I have been going on walks daily. We have had a chance to talk. Now, we can all talk to each other and eat dinner together. After dinner, we play a game or watch TV or have a conversation about World War II. Some people are going crazy staying at home, but it's not too bad for me. You go on your phone to distract yourself, and the next thing you know, an hour passes. So you decide to get up and do something productive. You feel so exhausted from your work that you have no energy to do anything. So you lay back on that comfy bed and stare up at the ceiling. You finally zone out and you think about nothing, while being conscious, knowing what is happening, but not doing anything about it. I try to go out every day, but it doesn't always happen. Last week, I went out every day multiple times. I saw Elena and we went to the ice cream bar near my house. And then we went on a small walk through Golden Gate Park. But don't worry, we stayed six feet apart. The good news so far is that you and everyone you know is healthy. The bad news is it's not over yet. You talk to family and friends. You spend quality time with your family. You worry about the future. I feel like I can definitely survive for another month or so. This week, I've been, I spent a lot of time in my backyard on my trampoline, and I haven't really spent a lot of time on my phone, which I'm glad about. I love spending time outdoors because it's so relaxing and calm. I feel the need to go outside instead of spending all day in my room, but I still really miss school. I still have hope in the doctors and scientists who are working to find a cure. These are not months of your life that have been wasted, but months of your life where you finally have a global perspective. 